You're doing testing with a VO2 analyzer, maybe with a full metabolic heart, measuring VO2 max, ventilation, ventilatory threshold, and you use that to advise clients, athletes, patients, but you do feel that you maybe miss something in the whole picture. Maybe you feel like VO2 alone isn't providing all the information you would like to use in advising your clients for better training, for better health, better longevity, then maybe we got something for you. Because this video is about showing you how adding one simple metric to your existing protocol, to your existing setup, can transform your whole performance assessment. Let's get into that. So that X here, is adding lactate testing to your current protocol. And at first hand, you might say, wait a second, that sounds pretty old school. That goes back to the last decade, to the last century, you know, doing lactate testing, lactate threshold, formulas, whatsoever. That seems maybe pretty outdated, okay? But that goes back to a time when there was a lot of misconception and false information about lactate, okay? I'm going to show you how actually combining lactate with your existing VO2 unlocks a whole new world of performance assessment. And here's why. The lactate concentration that you measure, okay? If you think about lactate concentration, it is, of course, part of the body composition, right? It's millimoles per liter. so. On that given day, with any given athlete or client, the lactate concentration that you measure is a result of two things. It is on the one hand, the lactate production, and on the other hand, it is the lactate combustion. Because what is known, and which is one of these old outdated misconceptions, lactate is not a waste product. And it's not produced, it's not created because of a lack of, of, of oxygen. It is actually produced all the time, continuously, as I stand here, as you're watching this video. Lactate is produced in the glycolysis and is combusted in the aerobic metabolism. It is actually one of the best, most efficient, fastest available fuels for the aerobic metabolism. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why adding lactate concentration, measurements of lactate during your testing is unlocking so many interesting things and what this is because the lactate combustion is actually proportional to the oxygen uptake that you measured there's a great body of science about it we're linking it here into the, into the article okay showing and explaining that lactate com lactate combustion is linear to auction uptake, which is exactly what you measure already. And that totally makes sense, right? Because we think about it, if you want to oxidize anything, we need oxygen. The more oxygen we have, the more VO2, the more we can oxidize. Therefore, the combustion rate is proportional, is a function of the auction uptake. Okay, now you say, okay, what's about the production? I don't know the production. That's correct. But think about it as lactate, and in terms of a mathematical equation, being the result of production and combustion. So when we measure combustion by measuring VO2, and you now measure concentration, we can solve for production. We have three metrics, two nulls are known, which means the third one we can very precisely calculate. And that reveals and unlocks so many important metrics because Lactate is always the end product of glycolysis. Again, going to link the scientific literature, which proves that there's a lot of scientific body around that. So lactate is the end product of glycolysis. The starting point of glycolysis is always glucose or glycogen, which means your lactate production is proportional to glycolytic ATP production, okay, or anaerobic energy, so to speak. Uh, okay, or glycolytic energy release. So by knowing lactate production rate, you know ATP production in the glycolysis and the aerobic metabolism. And again, because lactate is only produced out of glucose or glycogen, there's a fixed relationship between those two, which basically means if you know your lactate production rate, you also know now your carbohydrate combustion rate. Okay, and now it gets interesting, right? 
Because now you have something you might be interested in. How much carbohydrate is somebody burning? Okay, but think about it further. You know it's relatively easy to assess the total energy demand. Just looking at you know, the, the mechanical power output on a bike ergometer, or by knowing your aerobic energy contribution by measuring VO2, you already have that, right? Caloric equivalence, you know the energy expenditure here, you know the energy expenditure here, so we have total energy during the test at any given intensity, and if we deduct now, if we deduct the energy from carbohydrates, we get the energy coming from fat. So by knowing production rate, you know carbohydrate combustion rate, and therefore you know fat combustion rate, which now enables you to get fat combustion rates, maximum fat oxidation rate, and fat max. And then the last bit, most popular metric in endurance sports is obviously something beside VO2 max, which you already have, something which is called MLSS, maximum lactate steady state, which per definition is the highest equilibrium of lactate production and lactate combustion. And again, those two we know. So by adding lactate concentration to your existing VO2 data, it becomes possible to know lactate production rate. And therefore we, go, we know glycolytic energy release, we know carbohydrate combustion rate, therefore we know fat combustion rate, fat max, MFO and everything, and we know maximum lactate steady state. And then from there you can have everything. You can use that for making training zones, zone 2, fat max zone, um, different training zone based on MLSS, fuel and diet recommendations based on how, many, how much fat somebody burned, based on how much carbohydrates were burned, everything. So from just VO2 testing, you get to a whole complete holistic view on the physiology of your subjects and clients and athletes by just adding lactate. And the good thing is, you don't need to add to change anything in your workflow. You can just do a normal graded incremental exercise test. You can even use a warm up, right? Do that three, four steps, three minutes long to five minutes long each step. That's 50 minutes ish, right? 50 minutes, including the warm up. Measure lactate concentration at sub maximum intensities. And then do your normal REM test or whatever you do for your VO2 max. Total time? less than 30 minutes. Lactate measurement cost, 10 to 15 bucks per assessment. No additional time needed, just about 10 to 15 bucks additional investment if you use the lactate strips, okay? We have partnered with some of the um, companies which make some of the most accurate lactate machines. And to start with, you even get the machine for free. So you would not even have to invest in the machine. Get it all for free, it's all set up. You're hesitant, you think about, okay, I never took lactate samples. How does it work? We've got you covered. We've got a complete e-learning course, I'm going to link here, which explains you all the tips and tricks and all you need to know about how to take lactate. It's just 30 minutes, within 30 minutes you will know how exactly to take lactate, what to look for, how to make sure that it's, uh, you know, follows highest quality standards, it's pain-free for the subjects, it's reliable, the data you get is accurate. 30 minutes e-learning got you covered, linking it here. Linking the science here, and again, if you want to utilize that, you can also get even the hardware for free. Additional time, virtually nothing, right? Just include it into your normal protocols. To get all that, to get all this information in a totally customized branded report, Processing the data, three minutes. Maximum three minutes from having your raw data, having your VO2 and lactate data to a full report with substrate utilization curves of fat and carbohydrates, with MLSS, with training zones, fat max, VO2 max, all you can think of, maximum three minutes. So you get a very smooth workflow. If you feel like you're missing out on something by measuring VO2 only, then Consider adding lactate into your existing procedure and your existing protocol because you will unlock a whole bunch of the most important metrics which are relevant to you, which are relevant to your athletes and, and clients with minimal additional cost and with no additional time demand. Check out the scientific links and the e-learning courses and all the other material we provide here below.
Thank you.